All right, so if you're getting into mineral collecting and rock hounding, the primary book that I would recommend is some kind of mineral field guide. If you want to collect minerals and crystals, you really want a good field guide. This particular one is the Audubon uh, Field Guide to North American Rocks and Minerals. Now, you can get some for different regions specifically. There's a lot of other field guides you can get, but something like this, this one I really like, uh, because it has, it's organized really nicely. If you get yourself a good field guide, you're going to find that it will be based on the scientific information of the minerals. So that's one really important thing that you want. And then this one is organized first by visual pictures of the minerals by color, and then scientific classifications of mineral classes. And that's where you'll find really the in-depth information about minerals. And then there's some other information about rocks and stuff like that too. But yeah, as you can see, lots of beautiful colored pictures in this one. And this is the stuff that really counts. And that's the pages for each mineral. As you can see, the minerals are classified into these classes. So you're going to learn groups of minerals. Uh, so you'll really start to understand why you find minerals where you do. And then there's information about the mineral and uh, reference to the where, the where the images are, the image plates here that you can go find. And then all the basic information you need that you would be testing in the field, like I mentioned um, in previous uh, videos about building a mineral identification kit and how to use those. That's where you apply this because you'll be able to look it up and say, oh yeah, this is or is not that particular mineral. So, and then some other good information about where you can find them. So, yeah, so a good field guide, very important. The number one thing you'll want if you will be collecting. You might also want to get just a local text that is specific to the region that you will be in. So in this case, this is specific to a state. You can also get the some that are specific to a region. Um, but that would be a nice, again, kind of a field guide or just an information book. This one is actually a bit outdated, so I'm not going to necessarily say this one specifically, although it is kind of a fun old text to read and it has specific localities uh, where you can find these minerals. So kind of a fun one if you are trying to collect minerals. So I'll give you the information for this one, but again, it's an older book. It's like 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, so there it is. It's Rocks and Minerals of California. And, um, but you can find updated versions of these types of texts and see it's just broken down in all these regions. So these are kind of fun to have as well if you are looking for certain minerals and just getting started, although it does get pretty detailed information and it actually gives you coordinates as to where you can find these. Maps are another extremely important thing to get. Now you can get actual geologic maps. This one is just more of a reference that I picked up um, from the Yukon, but you can get real geologic maps off of Amazon. You can look at geologic mapping information at the USGS. There are some apps out there, even some free apps that I'll talk about um, in future videos about apps, but you can get some rock hounding apps that actually have some mapping. You want maps so that you know the region that you're in. Uh, again, also sometimes, sometimes at visitor centers and places like that, you might get something that's geologically oriented. Most of the maps they have are not based on geology, um, but this one was it's from the Yukon and uh, just really, really nice um, considering it was from just a visitor center or something like that. I can't remember exactly where I picked it up, but Nice geologic uh, breakdown. Hold on. Can't get it open. Okay, there we go. Nice geologic breakdown for that region. And uh, yeah, so then in any geologic map, you'll get information like this that'll show you uh, the types of rock units, uh, sometimes even more detailed than, than this on a good geologic map, and then it'll be color coded. So see when you're when you're walking or driving or exploring, then you'll know what units you're on. So it'll make sense in terms of what types of minerals you can find there. And as you learn, again, stuff you can learn in those field guides and other texts I mentioned, then you'll know where to go to find your own stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely an all around field guide that's very detailed, like I mentioned, maybe some local stuff and some geologic maps, either printed or digital. And you'll be on your way to finding minerals and crystals in the field.
Stay tuned because I'll also be talking about other good geologic references for some of your other interests, such as perhaps you're interested in geological hazards, volcanoes, fossils. I'll see you guys next time here at Let's Go Geo. Thank you.